We're going to kick off our Better Forms with Xamarin Forms series by taking a look at a screen that kicks off a lot of application experiences for our users. While our login screens are somewhat aesthetically pleasing, we have a few issues that make this a bit difficult for a user to work with. For example, if I tap on our email field, we will see that the keyboard that comes up is not configured for entering in an email address. And we know this because as I type in here, the very first character is capitalized. And the general convention is that email addresses should be all lowercase. And additionally, we don't have our at symbol and whatnot nice and handy for us to quickly type in our address. Secondly, when I hit the return key on our keyboard, the keyboard dismisses instead of taking us to the password field. So if we don't do anything, we will be asking our users to then tap on the password field to enter in something in there as well. Also, as you may notice, is as I type into the password field, we are not uh, doing a secure entry. So everyone could see your password if they were looking over your shoulder. And lastly, when I click or tap return on the password field, we don't submit this information or don't kick off the login process until we tap the actual login button like a caveman. And we'll find that this is also true for our Android version. Here again, when I tap into the email field, I don't have an email configured keyboard. I hit return, it dismisses the keyboard, hit return on password, it doesn't submit our login. So let's take a quick look at how we have our applications set up in Xamarin Studio and with Forms and XAML. So as I mentioned, I'm using a XAML-based Forms page where I have my XAML, which is basically XML that describes my user interface, which is very simple right now. We have a vertical stack layout with our logo, uh, a frame that holds our email entry and our password entry. Oops, did not mean to drag that. And then lastly, we have our button at the end of our form. If we go to the code behind of our login page, I'm using a view model to kind of act as my repository of business logic. I'm not using an official framework or anything. I'm just instantiating uh, the login view model class and setting it as the binding context of our content page. If we take a quick look at that login view model, we'll see we have two properties, one for email address, one for password, and we have a command that is basically a wrapper for our onSubmit method that looks to see what the email address is, password, and then if it's invalid, invokes the display invalid login prompt action that our code behind is listening for. In our next video, we'll take a look at how we can solve some of these UX issues as well as make our application better for our users.